not uh, suffer my own new wrath. What? You're confusing me. Suffer. The wrath of the jill chainsaws. You broke my darn leg. Hey guys, Bylord101 here. Welcome back to another Bionicle review. Today we are in my iconic bathroom where I've done several videos in it, and it's kind of weird. But here we got Onua Nuva, and he was a set I ordered off of eBay last month. A cool uh, bit of articulation he can do is he can turn his head because of the pin that connects him from his head to the Nuva armor. Which is very cool. Now, he has dual wielding arms and both arms move. You can see uh, the gears move there and the little function. Now he is a good set. I have had fun with him. I've also used him to destroy Makutas. And I'm going to show you the dual function of his chainsaw thing. Yeah, it looks like a chainsaw. It might be something else though. Okay. So here's his dual functionality. It's just that to his legs do this thing with his chainsaws where they come like one of those hoverboards, but with, yeah. Well, basically that's much for the Onua. Oh, crap. His head is attached by one of these gray pieces, which lead to a green eye stock here, which is very cool. I like the green eye stock, and I like the old head designs for the Toa. Here we got his mask. I can't remember the name of this Kanohi mask, but it's uh, his Nuva mask. I have his original mask in orange, and that's for a Rakshi set. He's got uh, the uh, Nuva armor, which is very useful, and uh, just the standardized Nuva chest plate. He also has the little pin, half pin, half axles, which is neat. And he has a consistent color scheme. The only part that's not that consistent, but I still like, is a little bit of contrast here with the green eye stock and the Nuva armor. But the reason the Nuva armor goes in with the color scheme is also because of his chainsaws. Again, a good set. I kind of disassembled him for this video. This has been BioLord's Lego Bionicle review. Peace out.